Sidney Long was a Norwich medical doctor who worked both at the Norfolk and Norwich and Jenny Lind hospitals. But in his heart, he was a naturalist and a conservationist. He served for many years as an officer of the historic Norfolk and Norwich Naturalist Society. And in 1926, he was the lead actor in the foundation of Norfolk Naturalist Trust that we know today as Norfolk Wildlife Trust. In honor of Sidney Long, the two organizations, Norfolk Naturalist Society and Norfolk Wildlife Trust, award the Sidney Long Memorial Medal every two years to a Norfolk conservationist and naturalist, someone who has given the best of themselves for the preservation and study of nature in the county. And this year's recipient is Professor Carl Sayer of University College London. Carl, in Norfolk Conservation, you're universally associated with wetlands, with ponds and with rivers. Tell me how you came to be associated with wet habitats. From get-go really, from when I was a little tiny little boy, I, I met this old man in the village. Before I could walk, put me on his shoulders and, and took me around the countryside. And where I lived there were so many ponds and the ponds just seemed more mysterious than anything else. They're your natural habitat. And there's a lovely story about how you became involved with your, your first significant project, the Glaven River Conservation Group. How did that start? I would perhaps be classified as a naughty little boy uh, when I was uh, in my teenage years, and I'd be cycling around the Glaven catchment um, looking for secret places to go fishing. One day I was fishing at Bayfield Lake, and I, I shouldn't have been there. And, uh, and then the owner came down, who was of course Robin Coombe, and he told me, told me off, but then said, um, okay, catch me a trout, uh, bring it up to the hall, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. And I thought, well, I've got to do what he says. So I managed to catch a trout from the river, put it in a bucket, took it up to the hall. He said, right, come with me. And off we went into the, into the woods. He uh, showed me this otter that we fed the trout to, and it was the sort of start of some otter releases in the 1980s. That was the real sort of formative experience really. I just thought this is amazing, I'm part of something here. And then when I finished my PhD and wanted to work back in Norfolk, I wanted to sample shallow lakes including Bayfield Lake. So I knocked on the door and said, hello, Mr. Coombe, can I survey your lake please? And of course he said yes and we had a lovely chat. And then about six months later, I said, should we form a River Glaven Conservation Group? And he was just massively on for that. It was just the words he wanted to hear at that moment. And so with others, we formed this River Glaven Conservation Group. and. Uh, I then sort of at the first meeting, I think I revealed to him I was that naughty little boy that he had caught and, uh, and he laughed his head off, you know. Knowing Robin, he'd have appreciated the fact that you'd been the naughty boy. The Glaven Conservation Group has achieved a huge amount in the Glaven catchment, but you've also helped galvanise the Norfolk Pond Project. Yeah, the River Glaven Conservation Group sort of started in the late 90s, and we were around before anyone was really doing a great deal of river restoration in lots of ways. Looked at what was going on in the Wensum, got inspired by some of that, and then tried to do some projects on the Glaven. And... But then I came to this farm where we're standing now and I met this amazing farmer called Richard Waddingham who, a bit like Robin, he checked me out, um, uh, but he'd, I was invited this time and he showed me his 40 ponds, which are partly in the glaive and catchment, which is a great draw for me. And, uh, and I was just absolutely, at that point, I was gobsmacked really. I thought, this, there's so much diversity here. It's all set in the farmland. There are so many ponds in Norfolk. We could do this elsewhere. And I just thought, this is the most amazing opportunity, really, to, to do good work. And so that's what we started doing. We started researching ponds, especially on this farm, to understand all the benefits of restoring them from being scrubbed over and, and resurrecting them, you know, redigging them out, the ghost ponds. And that led to the formation of the Norfolk Ponds Project. So since then we've been going around uh, restoring ponds all over Norfolk. And what's next on your, on your list of ambitions? What's, what's the next frontier for Professor Carl Sayer in the Norfolk landscape? No, I mean, you never know what's coming up next to you because you, you know, I often find a species and think that needs some help and then you just get passionate about it, like the Crucian carp and working on the eel at the moment, which also needs lots of help. I have a sense, um, given just how many ponds there are in Norfolk and just how important they are, 
and there's so much to discover scientifically about the seed banks and how, uh, how things survive in the sediments of ponds for so long. I have a sense I might be stuck in ponds and working on ponds for the rest of my life, but um, the whole of the aquatic environment needs our help. You know, we've got, we've got rivers, floodplains, lakes, ponds in abundance in Norfolk. It's a, a dry county, but it has the most spectacular wetlands and they have been degraded and we need to fix them. And it's big landscape projects which celebrate all those different things that will do it. So I'm in for that as well, but I'm, I'm, in, for, I'm in for the duration really to, till I drop just trying to do good things for the ponds, lakes and rivers really. Well, it's an enormous amount that you and your many colleagues have achieved and Norfolk's conservationists are very grateful to you. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Carl Sayer, on behalf of the Norfolk and Origin Naturalist Society and Norfolk Wildlife Trust, in recognition of your lifetime of work towards the conservation of the Norfolk environment, Norfolk's biodiversity, and in particular our rivers and ponds, congratulations on receiving the Sydney Long Memorial Medal. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. I feel really privileged to get this award, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm just a tiny pawn in a, a much bigger machine really. You can't do good conservation without landowners, so just a huge thank to all the wonderful landowners, especially Richard Waddingham, whose farm we're standing on now, whose work entirely inspired me. All I'm really doing is putting his ideas into action. Just a huge, huge thanks. Mm -hmm.